Hello guys, welcome to my fifth Oracle tutorial. This video will teach you how to install Oracle 11G to be more precise, Oracle 11.2.3 on Windows 8.1. Now, Oracle 11G installation is same as 10G, which was there in my previous video, so you can check that as well. So, I will go to my setup location. Now, Oracle provides you setup in two parts. So, what you have to do is you have to extract both the files. First, you will extract the which, which I have already extracted. So, first, you will extract the first file, which will get the database folder. Once that gets over, do the same thing with second file. So now when when you start extracting the second file, it will get the same file. It will have to get the same folder as database. So it will just prompt you, and it may prompt you that you have to merge the file or replace the file. You say you don't replace it, merge it, and continue. Now once the second file also gets over, go to the database folder, click on uh, setup file, and run as administrator. Which will open a command prompt, which will just verify some of the requirements. On that get over, your UI will pop up. So you can start with the installation. So here you go, the UI is here. So the first is you, the Oracle try it, will tell you to enter your email ID, which is not registered. So we will skip that part. It will prompt an event whether you have to, you have not provided an email ID. So just skip, click yes. In the second window, it will just ask you th two, three more options. So click on the third option, it skips software updates, and again click on next. Now here, the Oracle will just check some of the requ minimum require requirements for Oracle 11 to be installation on Windows 8.1. So since it's not any production environment, it's a home, uh, home environment, it doesn't affect anything. So I'll just ignore it, click yes, and continue with the installation. Again, there are three options. Which kind of installation I need? So I don't want to configure a folder, sorry, a database while Oracle installation. So I will just choose the second thing that is install Oracle software only. So I selected that and click next. Again, the same thing since it's a, it's a home alone machine. I have only one machine over here, so I won't select the second two, two th second and third. I will select the first one and click next. I am choosing the default language English. Again, click next. So I will choose the enterprise edition. Click next. And make sure you have the sufficient amount of space in the location you are trying to install it. Now here, since I already had a Oracle 11 to install, so I will choose a different location. I mean not the location, I will rename the folder as something different. So my previous was over 11.2.3, now I will do it as over 11.2.3 underscore 1. And it doesn't matter that you have to create this folder uh, before starting with the installation. You can just give any name on the runtime and Oracle will create it and install it in the same directory. So slash Oracle one is my Oracle base, and I I drives Oracle one and Oracle eleven two three underscore one is my software location. That is my Oracle home. Click next. Now these are your settings summary. Click on finish, and here you go. The installation will start. It may take five to ten minutes. So be patient. It will get over in some time.
now there is no window change till the insertion is completed so if you are watching this video you can just uh, forward the video to some seconds or some minute or few minutes and just get on to the next part of this video it is 90% it's almost nearing completion So the installation is over. Now one thing that you have to look into Windows is whenever you installing Windows, so your Oracle on Windows, what Oracle does is it will up and it will prefix the latest installation binary path in your path variable. So what does that mean is open the command prompt and just echo the path variable so as you can see the latest oracle home binary, so binary location is prefix in the path variable so suppose if you have another installation like 11 to 3 so, and you want to use that so either you can prefix permanently permanently change that in the path variable by going in the my computer or you can or if you don't if you want to use this sometimes so you can change the path variable in the runtime in your particular session so how you can do is so suppose this is my oracle home location I mean the 10g home location so I will just set the variable set oracle underscore home as this and set path variable is equal to this path slash bin that is the binary location and semicolon and I will append the rest of these variables in this so how it is done we have to put percentage sign path that is the variable name and path oops it is giving me mysql error actually I, I, I had installed mysql previously and now it is not there so while setting it windows is trying to find mysql and doesn't find it so it will give an error never mind we are concerned with the oracle path so I won't since we are changing in the session level it won't affect anything so I am just removing this and just setting the oracle path, tenji path so you can use that so this is how now if I again echo it so it will just show me the current path that I have set that is the tenji path so that's all about oracle 11.2.3 installation on windows thank you so much hello guys welcome to my